Come on, put your hands together with us. Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise you, Lord God, for the living one. For the living one, Lord. Praise you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Okay. 
stream Stand in the water, the water was cold Chill my body but not my soul house the joy of the Lord the spirit of the Lord is in this place amen 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 high five somebody high five somebody tell them we've come to have a time in the Holy Ghost tonight praise God you can be seated I uh, I've got something that uh, I need to do and uh, I was trying to figure out where we was going to fit it in and to the service. But I, I want Brother Matt and Sister Kate, if they would come up here to the front and little Cosette. As y'all know, uh, um, a while back when they had resigned being youth pastor, they did it for a reason. And that was he wanted to seek for a uh, full-time ministry a place where he could go and be and and be in full-time ministry there. And so this is their last service here. And they will be going to Brother Cisco's church, and they will be working there with Brother Cisco. 
And I want to send them off with, with our blessing. And that's the purpose of what I'm doing right now. We love and appreciate the Newton family. And I'm going to miss them. Going to miss them here in the Tascacita. Going to miss my little Cosette. Amen. That we love them and we appreciate them and we're thankful for, for all that they have done. They have blessed us. They've blessed our church. They've blessed our young people. They've blessed our old people. Our elders and everybody in between. And we appreciate y'all and we want to say thank you. Thank you for all that y'all have done here. The work that y'all have done here. Thank you so much. And that work will carry on. And our young people will continue to grow. Amen. And just thank you all for all that you've put into everything. And all of the plugged in rallies and all of that. And all of the praying with everybody. Amen. Of all ages. We love you. We appreciate you. And we want you to go in our blessing. And if everybody would, will you stand right now and just move your hands forward right now toward this, this couple, this family, as we pray together the blessing of the Lord upon them. Lord, in the name of Jesus. we have somebody else where's Anna come here Anna she's going to be going off to college she's going to be moving away and I don't want her to there's a college right here close you think so <laughs> we appreciate Anna we've watched her growing up and I just want this church to pray with us let's pray for Anna amen as she moves and goes to college we love you
Yeah, let the ushers will come. We'll give you an opportunity to give in the offering and the tithes and move around and shake hands with one another and greet one another. In the name of Jesus, God, we love you and praise you. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings upon us. Though we don't deserve them, thank you for taking care of us. We've never seen your seed begging for bread. We thank you for being that great shepherd. Thank you, Lord. Bless this offering. Bless the tithes. Use it for your glory and your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Move around. Bring your offering, your tithes. And maybe your neighbor will let you use their wallet and give as you think they should. things are a lot different tonight so let's let the Spirit of God move back in here y'all worship with us as we sing this song our God is an awesome God do you believe it
to victory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. What an awesome God we serve. He's awesome. He's great. He's wonderful. And he is the I am. Whatever you need, he's the I am. He's still the I am. He's always been the I am. He will always be the I am. The first, the last, the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning, the end. And when heaven and earth has passed away, He will be the I am. And I just want to be one of them that's with Him. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. My, what a time we had this morning in the Holy Ghost. If I ever felt a need to ask this church that is connected with Facebook to share, I feel it. You need to share that message this morning. There'll be people that'll tap into it that's connected to you in some way, form, or fashion. Curiosity, just, you know, how it messes with the cat. Hallelujah, but I... I want them to hear the sound of the Spirit and the bride calling to come, to awaken, to arise. Hallelujah. Raise your hands if you have friends and people around you you know that are backsliders. You once perhaps went to church with them somewhere friends in your life it's time for them to come home if I've ever felt it in my spirit if I've ever felt a boldness and I've got a boldness I feel in my Holy Ghost it's time for them to come home and it's time for us to get out of the closet and the bride's got to start making the sound because we're sounding the same sound the Holy Ghost is sounding and it's time it's time for them to get back it's time for your friends and my friends to get back to that place they know they belong. Hallelujah. It's time for them to get back. They know where truth is. They know what truth is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My, 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 my. Do I have it feeling? Burning in my spirit. Burning in my soul. I've never in my entire life and nor in my entire ministry felt what I'm feeling right now. And what I have been feeling for a while now, I'm telling you. And I told the Holy Ghost, I told the Lord, I'm acting on this. I am moving with it. I am moving with it. It's time for us to rise up and get bold. We can't be shy anymore. We can't be afraid we're going to offend somebody no more. You need to make the sound the Holy Ghost is making, and that's the sound of the bride. The sound of the bride is one sound, and that is you need to get back. 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 You've got to wake up. You've got to come alive. We're not going to let the alligators get you. Mama's not going to quit. We're not giving up. We're not giving up. We're not giving up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. If you'll turn me to Isaiah chapter 52, everybody, don't forget next weekend is the kids' revival. Hallelujah. And we need everybody, everybody, when we have those special weekends, remember, all of the time those kids come with you for your services. So that one time a year, you bless them and come with them and help them have revival. Help them have revival. Show them that we're behind them with 280%. There's a such thing as that. Hallelujah. I'm excited about next weekend. I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. I don't know if that evangelist even knows what he's coming into. But I'm going to tell you right now. Hallelujah. 
I might just go back over and jump on his shoulder and ride him like a hallelujah. We just got the Holy Ghost revival that's going on in my spirit and my heart. It's going to move in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Can I hear the voices of our kids? Somebody say yes. Come on, y'all sound like a bunch of sick turtles. Louder. Yeah. 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 (laughs) Oh, praise God. Praise God. Praise God. We're going to be blessed, and we're going to be like kids, and we're going to have church like kids, and, and it's their weekend. Praise God. Isaiah chapter 52, and I'm reading verse 7. Isaiah chapter 52 and in verse 7. You know, I didn't, I didn't even know until just now the, the, the connection to that last song y'all sang. I had no idea. You'd almost think it was all just planned together. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that brings good tidings. Everybody say good news. Good news. That publishes peace or that proclaims peace. That brings good tidings of good. And that means of good things. That publishes salvation. And that says unto Zion, thy God reigneth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I didn't even realize that I was looking up and we were singing. And I said, man, we're, we're, we're singing the message right here. We're, we're singing it. Lord, we love you and praise you and thank you so much. Thank you for this church. Thank you for the backsliders that have awakened. Thank you, God, for the lost that are filling the call, that are coming out of the darkness. Thank you for the light that shines. Thank you, God. We love you, and we are your children. We praise you, and everybody say in Jesus' name. Shake hands one more time with somebody, elbow bump, high five, whatever, before you are seated. When I was seeking direction for this service tonight, the Lord gave me orders in the Holy Ghost to stand on the mountain of the Lord, as a watchman on the wall and to proclaim the Lord reigneth. Hallelujah. Proclaim the Lord reigneth. And so I come tonight simply with what the Lord spoke to me in my heart to proclaim from the very top of my voice from the mountain of the Lord as a watchman on the wall the Lord reigneth Psalms 99 and 1 the Lord reigneth let the people tremble he sitteth between the cherubims let the earth be moved the Lord is great in Zion And he is high above all of the people. Let them praise thy great and terrible name. And don't take that word terrible. Y'all hear word terrible. That's a terrible. And this is terrible. This isn't talking about that. This is the most awesome name that you could ever. We don't have words to explain. The mighty awesome name of the Lord. For it is holy. Psalm 97 and 1, the Lord reigneth. Let the earth rejoice. Let the multitude of the islands be glad thereof. The clouds and darkness are round about him. Righteousness and judgment are in the habitation of his throne. A fire goeth out before him and burneth up his enemies round about His lightnings enlightened the world. The earth saw and trembled. The hills melted like wax of the presence of the Lord. 
at the presence of the Lord the whole earth. The heavens declare his righteousness. And all of the people see his glory. Confounded be all of they that serve graven images, that boast themselves of idols, that worship him, all ye little gods. Zion heard and was glad. The daughters of Judah rejoiced because of thy judgments, O Lord. For thou, Lord, art high above all of the earth. Thou art exalted far above all little G-O-D-S, all of that junk out there that people call lords and gods in their lives. Ye that love the Lord hate evil. He preserves the souls of his saints. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, I said hallelujah. He preserves the souls. Oh, some of, some of you folks right now, they, this, this younger generation don't know anything about the preserves. They have no idea. That older generation understands that. Oh, hallelujah. They, I don't care how long they've had it. They can go climbing up inside their pantry and pull something out, and they're not even worried about it. It's been preserved. It's been done right. And they're not worrying about it. They pull out the jams and pull out their jellies and pull out all the things that's been preserved. And hallelujah, the Lord preserves the souls of his saints. And he delivers them out of the hand of the wicked. Somebody say it with me. The Lord reigneth. I don't know where I'm going tonight. Don't know exactly what how I'm, what all I'm going to cover, but I'm just going to take off in what the Lord gave me and just tell you the Lord reigneth. Let the earth rejoice. I've come with some good news tonight. Good news to the saints of the living God. Good news. Good news. Good news. The Lord reigns. He's in control of everything. Nothing has happened by accident. Nothing snuck up on you that snuck up on the Lord. God reigns in every situation. Don't worry because of the dark clouds of your storm. The Lord reigns. I said the Lord reigns. I said the Lord reigns. Don't worry because the Lord, hallelujah, a man is moving in situations that shakes your bushes. Oh, come on, somebody. God preserves the souls of his saints. Hallelujah. Whatever it takes to get you and out of heaven, so be it. God, preserve our soul. Preserve our soul. Hallelujah. The Lord reigns. Don't worry about the last roar of the seas the Lord reigns nothing happens without the hand of God working it for his purpose nothing happens without the hand of the Lord working it for his purpose purpose. Romans 8 and 24, we know that all things work together for good for them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. All things. Nothing happened by accident. Nothing slipped up on God. God reigns on earth the Lord's power as readily controls the rage of the wicked as it does the rage of the sea come on hallelujah the wicked sure seem to be raging today the Lord reigneth the Lord reigneth. It sure seems like there's a tidal wave going on out there among people. The Lord reigneth. His love as easily refreshes us with his beautiful mercy as it does the earth with the beautiful rain that falls upon that ground and causes it to turn green. 
The majesty of the Lord gleams in the flashes of the lightnings in the midst of your darkest storms. Those lightnings that flash and those sounds that go boom. I'm telling you the power of God reigns in it all. The glory of the Lord is seen in all of the falling empires throughout time. Every empire that has fallen didn't fall by accident. God reigns. Every empire that crashes, every throne that is broken and torn down, the Lord reigns in every conflict, in every tribulation. Behold the hands of the Lord. The Lord reigns. He is in control of everything. Isaiah said in Isaiah 6 and 1 in the year, King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne. He was high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. His robe filled the temple. And above it stood the seraphims. Each one had six wings. And with twain, he covered his face. And with twain, he covered his feet. And with twain, he did fly. And one was crying to another. And they were saying, Holy, Holy, Holy is the Lord of hosts, and the whole earth is full of his glory. The whole earth is full of his glory. Hallelujah. This earth and where it sets and the way that it turns and the place where it is, it is God. He's preserving us. That thing can be bumped off of its axis by just a tad. And friend, that will be it. Hallelujah. God reigns in everything. He reigns in everything. And thank God he reigns in you and he reigns in me. He reigns in hell. Evil spirits are controlled by him. And they're in misery because of it. I said they're in misery by his undoubted supremacy. They was begging him, hallelujah. Oh, come on. When that legion, that man with legion come up, he said, I'm going to cast you into the outer darkness. Oh, please don't do that. Can we go to the pigs? Please let us go to the swine. And he said, go. And the swine went crazy and headed to the sea. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. They're a little bit smarter than some human beings. They said, friend, we're not living with this. Hallelujah, we're not living with this. Oh, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. The Lord reign. When permitted to roam abroad, those unclean spirits They began to do their whatever they do, but it is not in free reign. They got a chain to their heels. They can only go so far, and they can only do so much, and whatever the Lord will allow to be done. All things were created by the Lord, and all things were created for the Lord. Come on. There's nothing that is messing with you or messing with me that the Lord didn't create for him, by him, and for whatever his purposes are to be accomplished and done. Colossians 1 and 14, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sin. Who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature? For by him, by who? Jesus Christ. That's who we're talking about here. For by him were all things created that are in heaven, that are in earth, that are visible, and that are invisible, whether they be thrones, whether they be dominions, whether they be principalities, and whether they be powers. All things were created by him and for him. Hallelujah. He is before all things, and by him all things consist. He's the head of the body, the church. 
Who is the beginning? The firstborn from the dead. That in all things he might have the preeminence. Death and grave can't hold you. Death and the grave cannot hold you. Because the Lord reigns. The Lord reigns. And death's darts are under the Lord's lock. And the grave's prisons are controlled by God's divine power. Don't tell me you can't be free. Don't come to me with your excuses. Whatever's going on in your life and whatever's got a hold of your spirit, don't tell me you can't be free. And don't tell me you can't be an overcomer. I tell you, you can. Because the Lord reigns in me and he'll reign in you. Hallelujah. And greater is he that is in me than he that is in this world. The Lord reigns. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The work of the Lord. It is all the work of the Lord. Everything is the work of the Lord. Hallelujah. The authorities that be, he put them there. He put them there. All of heaven declares his supremacy. All bow before the sovereign eternal king. All fall on their faces and do homage to the almighty God. And there's a day, a day coming where he said every knee's going to bow. And every tongue is going to confess. Hallelujah. There's going to be a multitude that's doing it by joy. And there's going to be a multitude where he's saying, I reign. And down you go. Hallelujah. Amen. Hey, hey, there was a time where he says, hey, I'm letting you, you, your will, your will. I'm giving you free will here. Hallelujah. But friend, there's a day coming. You're going to do what God said. It's just going to happen whether you want to or you don't want to. You're going to bow before him. You're going to lift up your voice unto him. Come on, the angels are in his attendance. And they are in his royal courts. And they delight in serving him day and night. Oh, hallelujah. Holy, 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 holy. For the Lord's glory fills the earth. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That song came to my mind. Amen. I talked to Sister Jamie. I said, get it on the computer for later on tonight. But I don't know if we're going to sing that one or we're going to sing the one y'all were singing. Hallelujah. That before I preach. But it says this. He's God in the Father. He's God in the Son. He's God in the Holy Ghost. He's God all three in one. I know God is God, and God don't ever change. I know God is God, and Jesus is his name. He's God when the lightning flashes. He's God when the thunder rolls. He's God way up in heaven, and he's God down in my soul. I know God is God. God don't never change. I know God is God. And Jesus is his name. He's God all over the oceans. He's God all over the seas. He's God all over creation. And he's God all over me. I know God is God. And God don't never change. I know God is God. And Jesus is his name. Raise your hand if you don't know that song. I just like, if you don't know, real, real high. Come on, put it up real high, real high, real high, real high. I just want to see. If you don't know that song, good. Well, I'm going to keep singing it for you. <laughs> He's God upon the platform. 
He's God back at the door. He's God in the amen corner. And he's God all over the floor. I know God is God. Oh, God, don't ever change. I know God is God. And Jesus is his name. <laughs> oh, come on. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Well, he's God up on the platform. And it's God back at the door. He's God in the amen corner. He's God all over the floor. I know God is God. Oh, God don't never change. I know God is God. And Jesus is his name. This is what I like right here. Well, he's God in the Father. He's God in the Son. He's God when the thunder rolls. He's God way up in heaven. He's God down in my soul. I know God is God. God don't ever change. I know God is God. And Jesus is his name. Hang on a second. Psalms 97. The Lord reigneth. Islands, be glad. If you can't rejoice, it's time for your jailbreak. Acts 16, 25, and at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and began to sing praises unto God. And the prisoners heard them and suddenly there was an earthquake and the foundations of the prison were shaken and immediately all the doors were open and everyone's bands were loosed. I said it's time for a jailbreak. It's time for some of you to get you a dance on you. If you can't dance, now's the time to break out. Break out of that prison. Break out of that jail. Break out of that place that's got you bound up and tangled up and wrapped up you need to say the Lord reigns and I'm gonna rejoice I'm gonna rejoice I'm gonna rejoice because the prison can't hold me the bars can't hold me man's not in control the devil's not in is not 
just existed. It did not just evolve. I don't care what those scientists say. The universe is not without sovereignty. There is a governing authority. I said there is a governing authority. It's not the abode of anarchy. It is not without governmental authority. It is not the production of chance. It just happened to be. It just happened to be. Friend, it didn't just happen to be. And it is not subject to the physical laws of this land. God says it's going to happen. I don't care what king reigns. And I don't care what authority there is. Physical laws have to bow before him. His glory fills all of the earth. This world is not under the control of evil. It is under the control of God. The one, the only, true and living God. There is no others. There is none. He's the wise, the holy, the intelligent, the just, the almighty, the all and he rules in all things. He presides over all affairs. And it's working together for the good, for those that love the Lord, and for his purpose. Hey. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If there is anything for which we should rejoice, it's because there is one mind. There is one head. There is one. And he wants to live in you. And he wants you to live in him. For all of us are one. The bride's making the same sound. The Holy Ghost is speaking the word. The message is coming from the hand. Come on, let me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are y'all with me? Not only should we rejoice, but the Bible says, let the earth rejoice. The earth itself, all the parts of it, all that dwell upon it. The earth derives its fertility, its beauty, and its stability from God. It derives its order, its beauty, and its productiveness from God. If God says, I'm shutting the heavens and the rain's going to stop, you count on it. It's going to stop. Don't judge God by a season in your life. Don't judge your life by a season that you're going through. That season's going to change. God's going to say, now, 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 it's time to change. I said, God reigneth. Your faith must be bigger than what you see here and now. Your rejoicing should not be based on what you see here and now. Your rejoicing be based on God reigns. Season, come on, you. When God didn't say it's time for that season, my God reigns. My God reigns. You shout. Should not be based on the here and now. 
situation. Don't stumble in doubt. Don't stumble in doubt over your trial, over your hardship that you're going through. Because the Lord reigns. He's in control. He's in control. 2 Corinthians 4 and 19, our light affliction, which is but for a moment, it works for us a far more exceeding internal weight of glory. Hallelujah. I'm passing by a bunch of stuff I got. I'm just reading scriptures now. 2 Corinthians 4 and 18, while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things are not seen, they are eternal. And you can't see that, but I'm telling you this, God's reigning. I'm telling you this, God's in control. I'm telling you right now, God didn't leave you. First Peter 1 and 6, we're in greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, you are in heaviness through the manifold right, right, right. of the temptations that the trial of your faith being much more precious than gold that perishes though it be tested and tried with fire that it will be found unto praise unto honor and unto glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ whom have not seen you love in whom though now you see him not yet believing that you rejoice That you rejoice with joy, unexplainable, full glory. The Lord reigneth, the Lord reigneth, the Lord reigneth, the Lord reigneth, the Lord reigneth. Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice.
Hi, this is Pastor Kevin Martin, and I just want to thank you all for joining us today, tuning in and being a part of our service. We hope that it was a blessing to you and that you were uplifted and encouraged and felt the presence of the Lord. If you would like to know more about our church, please join us at www.atascacitaupc.com. And you will find all of the ministries. You will find pictures where you can take a journey and see everything that's been going on at the Pentecostal Church of Atascacita. And uh, we hope that you join us again very soon. God bless you.